run their way into the team here. There's the lineup for the final. Ruben Arthur, Samo Sewa, who made it through in that tight semi-final. CJ Uja, Harry Aikens, Iriti, James Dasaolu, Oji Edeboran, Rhys Prescott and Joel Fearon. Now, CJ is not there. Sorry, I'm just being distracted a little bit by looking up. Collins are confirming for me. Ruben Arthur will be, therefore, in lane two. Samo Sewa, who has been performing very well, I said, around the new person best this year, and not too far away from the qualifying time, and uh, late finish got him into this final. So, what about Harry then? Suddenly, Harry Aikens, Ariti, James Dasaolu. What a chance here. Harry doesn't have the qualifying time. I've seen the wind's been slightly against in the women's race. What if it was with? He's been close enough. Dasaolu. Well, what a chance here now for him to cement his place. Already has the qualifying time. Needs just to finish in the top two here. The champion from last year trying to win again in 2017. Will it be one of the new, young, up-and-coming athletes? This man has the qualifying time. OG Adebora, the European junior champion and the under-23 champion from this year. Last week, running very well indeed. Prescott, Reese Prescott, big talent, over 100 and 200 laps. I remember seeing him run really well in Lausanne in the 200 meters last year. They're concentrating on the 100 meters here because he has the qualifying time also. Joel Fearon. There's the empty lane. Where is CJ Uja? We were told he wouldn't run the 200 meters tomorrow, that he was running just the 100 meters today. Not here. Now we're being told that he had cramp after the semi final. Yeah, that cramp thing, it doesn't often come around to a lot of people who have to run finals. CJ Uja, not here. So what an open door this is for Desaulu, Odebor and Harry Aikens Ariti. 100 meter final. <laughs> Harry gets a pretty good start. Desaulu up into his run and Odebor and trying to chase them down. It's Desaulu and Harry Aikens Ariti. And look at Reese Prescott finishing very quickly. Prescott gets it, 10.1. Prescott and Desaulu will go. They have the qualifying time. That's quick enough. They will be guaranteed a place in the 100 meters. The question is going to be, who will join them? No Jamili in the final. No CJ Uja in the final. What a dilemma for the selectors. These guys won't care about that. Harry Aikens run pretty well. Harry Aikens already run pretty well there also. We're just waiting to get the official times up. But what a finish. This lad's full of talent, isn't he? I was saying about how impressed I was with him last year. I remember running well in Lausanne over 200 meters, but he chose the 100 meters this year, and goodness me, he come good at the right time. What a performance, what a finish from him. Dessaola must have thought it was his Colin. 10.09, the winning time for Prescott, and he celebrates, he's off to the World Championships. We watched him in the semi-final, didn't we? It took him a long time to unwind, but we, we were wondering whether he just did enough to qualify. Obviously, that's exactly what he did, just did enough, saved it for this big final. He was out there on his own though, wasn't he? Stuck out on the outside, concentrated on what he needs to do, and he just ran the field down to take the victory in 10-0-9. Season's best, you cannot complain with that. But of course now, that leaves the selectors with a little bit of a headache. Who are they gonna have to fill that third spot? Here he goes, he's got that blue, blue arm sleeve, Makes it much easier for you to recognize where he is. And look, he's way down, way down. And at 60 meters, he puts his foot down, starts to haul himself through, and he just takes that victory. James Sassalu must have said, what happened there? Where did he come from? Because he literally just appeared from nowhere. Have a look from this angle. Prescott, he just stands up, out the blocks. He doesn't really have that, a good drive phase. But once he gets that big frame moving, a lot of cadence, a lot of leg speed, and just sneaks in when it matters, right at the finishing point. So Reese Prescott, the 21-year-old Enfield and Harringay Club, is the winner, and he has won a place at the World Championships, 10.09, his winning time.
It was a zero wind, incidentally. James Dasaulu confirms his place in the team again. 10 